guys, um, so I'm coming at you from the sofa because um, I've been keeping up to the channel. I can't really do much with my ribs, so on the live stream I did the other day, um, I did a lot of shopping whilst I was in India over the course of a month and I asked you on the live stream if you'd like to see what I got and I'll try and remember how much I paid for everything. Um, I know I did a bit of a haul in the Jodhpur vlog so I'll link that up. I won't go through too much detail of those items if you've already seen that so we don't become repetitive. Um, yes, I'm more cosy, the heating is on, I'm staying warm, I'm trying not to move or do anything um, but I need to do something because it's killing me so haha, oh, Jesus. I thought I would go through everything I brought in India so if you like hauls, grab a cup of tea, sit down, relax and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so these are the first thing that come up and I don't know if I can lean far enough forward to get these into focus, but um, I had to pick up some little bindis. So I got some plain ones and also I got like the little gem ones. The auto driver um, just took us to a little store where I could pick some up because I was going into a temple. Um, and these were like, I could get three of these three packs of these for eight rupees, I think it was, which is less than 10 pence. It's like eight pence. I was like, I don't need three packs of those. Um, so he was like, okay, you can get like one of the nice pretty ones and one of these for eight. So I gave him 10 um, for both of those. So those are my little bindis. So um, you've already seen these, but these were the bracelets. Um, I took them off today because they need cleaning. Um, but I showed these in the Jodhpur video, um, my two sterling silver bangles, and they're so pretty. And ow, I'll stop leaning forward. I love them so, so much. Um, and then I wanted to get some <clears throat> more silver jewelry because I do love my jewelry. It's very good prices. Um, and I really wanted to get some anklets. So I went to Jewel One in Chennai. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to come closer to the camera. Hold on. Okay, so I, the anklets come in a set of two. Oh, let me put it against the one I don't have henna on so you can see. Oh God, this is so awkward. So I picked up two anklets and they're very, very, very pretty. Can't remember now. They're so pretty. So I think those were just less than 20 pounds for both of them, um, so I'm really happy with them. Then when you get to Goa, Goa is like so much more expensive because it's so much more touristy. Um, on the beaches, but I did want to get these sheets. You'll see them everywhere um, And I got two Because I thought well, I don't have any room in my luggage. Let's get two of them now These are massive issue. You thought yours was big. You have no idea. So these are all like tie-dye Beautiful print you'll see them everywhere in Goa um, and yeah, just the price in Goa are so much more expensive. Oh God, how am I gonna show you this? Hold on, gently and slowly. <laughs> so this is enormous. Okay, I didn't realize it's actually this big, but it's got a huge tree on. It's a beautiful, colorful tie-dye sheet. It is actually huge um, and it goes all the way down there. Um, so yeah, I got this one and I got this huge black one. Again, colorful tie-dye, it's just so big. I'm gonna put this one on my bed. And I think for the price of these two, um, oh, they're so nice, oh my God. Um, I think I haggled her down. She wanted like 1,200 each, but I haggled her down to 550 each, I think, which I was really proud of. So that came to about six pounds each. The amount of material and how beautiful they are. I was super chuffed, thought it was a bargain probably way more because it's still a lot more to pay because you're in Goa, but they are easily, this and my jewelry are like my favorite purchases. So they'll be going on my bed. So when I was in Mumbai, I went to, oh God. Sorry guys, my head is all over the place. I went to a huge shopping center. It was like a really fancy shopping center. Um, Cause I wanted to go and get a nice bikini and I found this beautiful shop. Oh, where are my trousers? You've probably seen the trousers, they're like really big, wide leg, black, baggy trousers, they're gorgeous. <clears throat> I can't think of where they are though. And I really don't want to get up and go and find them, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I am obsessed with this. So it is this, oh, I don't even know what you'd call it, but, oh, excuse me. So you got this beautiful detail on the front and it goes all the way down the sleeves. 
it's so 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 pretty um, and it's really long it's got a split up the front and it's longer at the back and I wear these over my wide leg really long baggy black trousers um, with some sandals and it's just so nice I think this and the really nice trousers I got came to about 20 pounds for both so about 10 pounds each they were on sale um, it's a really nice shop. I had to stop myself. It was ridiculous. So seriously in India you will want to buy everything. Don't be fooled. I'm not a big shopper and whenever I travel I never buy anything. But in India you want to buy it. Like can you see why? You see all of this like everywhere and you're like oh, I want it all. Then you would have seen most of these items now coming up from Jodhpur. This is my favorite scarf. But yeah you would have seen oh god you would have seen this um, and I wore it everywhere. The pattern is just so pretty, but it's super creased from being in my luggage. Um, and it's got red at the bottom. Okay, this is really, really hurting. I actually, oh no, no I did. I did wear this skirt. So this is one from Jodhpur as well that you saw and I have wore this skirt, but it's a little bit itchy. Some of the sequins kind of like come through and kind of scratch your legs up, which is always nice. I've worn this one way more, um, and I knew I would as soon as I saw it, but I just got a better deal if I brought two, so I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Um, I've worn this skirt a lot more, and they were like two, four, six hundred, so like three pound fifty each. These I am in love with. Um, this was five hundred, so about six pounds, but it's one of those block design, hand printed trouser things and they're like massive baggy pajama bottoms basically that you wear in public. I am about that. Um, you probably saw this one in Delhi. I picked up um, a long sleeve kind of blouse with little cacti on them. Cactuses? Cacti? I think I always get that wrong. Um, it's got a bit of a weird fit but it's quite a pretty little blouse and I have worn this a couple of times but not as much as I expected and this was like a hundred rupees which is like £1.20 from Delhi. Um, these are, I was given for free in Jodhpur because I brought so much from a shop. They were like, yeah, you can just have those. Um, and they're the really cheap kind of elephant pants that with the baggy crutch um, Aladdin pants that everyone wears. But they are like plastic, so they really feel horrible on. Um, but they're okay. And then I got this beautiful long shirt. Um, again, my brain has just gone like motion. I can't remember what they are called. The ones with the slits up the side. These are very popular to wear in India and I wore this quite a lot in Northern India but didn't wear it much down south. That is pretty much everything I brought in India for gifts. Um, I gave, I brought Ishi one of the sheets but it was much smaller and it was red. Um, so she, she opened it, she was like, it's so big. I'm like, girl, you have not seen how big mine are. Yours was a small. Um, so I'm super happy with my purchases. I'll have my little bindis now and I'm gonna put my anklets on just so I can feel pretty because I'm not leaving the house for the next like three days so I don't have to worry about putting these on with like um I wanted to get the really thick ones because the anklets the traditional ones are like really thick silver um but they were way too bulky maybe if I go back next I'll get some traditional ones but I thought these are proper proper real silver as well by the way um I thought I'd just get these ones and I'm gonna put them on make myself feel pretty um so yeah that is my big India haul I hope you enjoyed it um, sorry that I have to be quite sedentary, 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 um, sitting still in the upcoming videos um, until my rib heals, but yeah, um, any video suggestions about India, I've got a list of ones I want to do coming up, like is it safe to travel alone as a woman in India, and things like that, so if you have any questions, burning desires, or videos you want me to make where I talk about certain topics about India, please let me know, and I will be doing those over the next couple of weeks. And yes, I'm gonna relax now because sitting up is really hurting a lot of my back and my ribs. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for all your love and support. Your well wishes on social media mean the world to me. Um, and if you missed any of the India vlogs, then I'll link the playlist down below. They're probably my favorite videos I've ever produced on this channel and you guys are effing loving them. So um, yeah, I will see you in a few. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to ya later. Love you. Ow, ow, ow.